Hello everyone. In this class, we're going to discuss about the output determination. Basically, it is a process to determine the media such as printouts, telexes, faxes, emails or EDI that are sent from one business to any of its business partners. Let us consider a business partner is there for a one particular SAP system. Okay. BP roles will come now. Uh, for that, we'll going to use something called as a EDI. That is nothing but a external data interchange. Let us consider whatever the business partner you are having. He might be using some third party system. It is not the SAP or else we can say it is a non SAP system. That time, if you want to send the data, uh, whatever the emails or whatever the faxes, if you want to send, you have to use the EDI over there. That is the external data interchange. If your partner function is also having the same SAP system, then you can go through the ALE. ALE is nothing but application link enabling will going to call. So that will going to connect the, uh, what is that uh, SAP to SAP systems. Then you can easily transact the, whatever the change of the data is there. We can able to do that. So uh, this is all about the print outputs. And uh, today we'll going to study how one can able to configure this output determination in SAP MM. I'll just move to the uh, SAP screen here. And uh, here also we have a uh, little prerequisites. Okay, first we're going to discuss about them. Then we can uh, just configure the entire output determination for SAP MM. Then we can see how it will going to trigger in the while sending the messages or while sending the printouts and all. I'll just go slash n spro img. Within this, we have to take the material management. Under that, we have to go for the purchasing. Under purchasing, go to the messages here. Then we'll go into, and if any, uh, like EDI, I said no, this is a external data interchange and uh, we need some third party system to maintain this. But now I'll go to the output control. Here in the output control, these are the different things which we will going to take care so that we can able to define our output determination. First thing, okay, here this is uh, given us one tips for fast message determination setup. If you just read this, it is saying how we will going to set up each and everything. Okay, so if you want you just read it out. Uh, anyway, I'll be showing the entire thing. So here, first thing we're going to create one condition table. This is just like a pricing procedure which we have discussed in the previous classes. Okay, for the pricing procedure, you can check the eye icon is showing Okay, at the top, you can check it out. So here, condition table, I'll just uh, consider. Within this condition table, we have the, uh, this condition table, It we can maintain it for the request for quotation because what means why we will going to use the output determination. Output determination will be used only for the external documents. It is not using for the purchase requisition. Everything, okay, whatever the output determination will be using, that will be for the external documents. These are all external documents, whatever the request for quotation you are raising, purchase orders you are sending, outline agreements, all these things are the external documents. So for this only, we'll be maintaining the output determination. So as of now, I'm maintaining the output determination for the purchase order. I'll just take this, okay, execute this. Uh, means first we'll going to create the condition table for condition see here message display condition table purchase order and message create condition table purchase order i'll just i want to create the condition table so here it is asking for some table and even in the pricing procedure we have used some table as of now i'll going to use some 718 as a table here so here also it is asking for some field catalog okay whatever the based upon which field catalog you want to maintain the print output no you can take that uh, as of now i'll going to just take the company code based upon the company code i want to generate the print outputs okay so i'll say generate here see table 049 is already defined with the same field like that it is saying that is fine for me i'll just do you want to generate the condition table yes and uh, here package okay something it is asking so uh, here what you do just select the local object and it it is saving now okay so now the table is created here just go back okay so this is our table again i'll go back here go to the display and if you click enter you can see the table is uh, having the company code if you want to change again you have to go to the 
create only and change this thing if you want to have some different uh, uh, fields along with the company code you can have it as of now i have created a condition table only with the company code okay i just want to send the messages through the uh, field company code okay and here next we we have to uh, maintain the access sequence i'll just click on this here again the same things will be available as the condition table see here define condition table for request for quotation same thing access sequence for request for quotation like that they have maintained but as of now we are doing the access sequence for purchase order i'll just execute this so this is the cross client table uh, we have to be very careful whenever we are doing this activity i'll say okay here here are few details which are available if you want you just copy one thing and uh, move further or else you can create your own what i'll say i'll say new entry here access sequence i want to give a 718 i'll going to provide here this is access sequence for lt01 output determination i'll going to provide this particular description here click enter select this go to the accesses and you have to provide your table here say new entries number one 718 is my table click enter so the company code is appearing here just select this data and go to the fields you can see your company code okay that is booker us which is the technical name of the company code which is appearing here so just save this data and now we have created the access sequence i'll go for the message types now um, here again i'll going to go for define message types for the purchase order just execute this here maintain message types for the po is there and fine tune control output is there so i'll just go for the maintain message types for the purchase order here there are few message types which are already maintained and neu is the standard printout okay po printout message output type so which one i'll going to use the same thing but i'll going to copy this and i'll going to create my own as a lneu and uh, this uh, new po output for lt0 and i'll going to provide here and here access sequence what is my access sequence that one i have to provide mine is a 718 is the access sequence for me and uh, these things okay don't change the programs and all these are uh, uh, maintained by the abapas and we need to maintain the same things here just click enter and i'll say copy all see here the language there are so many different languages will be available so from all the different languages it is copying the what is that my print output so even the uh, whatever the mediums are there it is copying for all the different mediums so now i have copied see l n e v is ready now just click on this go for the mail title and text see these are the different languages in which we can able to send the messages and go to the processing routine here only this programs pdf and smart form all these things please don't touch anything over here fax format and how the fax should be sent and edi everything is maintained at this particular end and go to the partner roles here also ordering address vendor all these things are maintained so we are not going to touch anything over here and we have maintained each and every uh, thing here and just save this data whatever the things we have taken just now see here also it is taking for the different things okay here the uh, script is changing just observe this okay so we have to save it for everything so now we have created our uh, message type for the po i'll close this next is the message determination schema once you go to the message determination schema here also define message schema for purchase order i'll go here i'll go to the maintain message determination schema purchase order double click on this and uh, what i'll do i'll just uh, take some examples okay mipl po schema is there no i'll just copy it and i'll going to create my lt01 po schema i'll uh, make it like this lt0 and po schema and click enter okay i'll say copy all see number of dependent entries copied is 7 just say okay here and uh, select this go to the control data here you, uh, you can see different condition types which are available over here and for this we have maintained the um, what is that schema yeah whatever the condition type we have created we need to maintain this we need to provide the step and the counter then the condition type so here i have maintained it uh, at is the step counter is one and lneu i have maintained it here so this is also one more important step which we, we have to take care or else our 
output will not going to get determined in the PO. I'll just save this data, whatever the data we have created, just go back and see assign schema to purchase order. Just go here and uh, here BIPL is there. What I'll going to do is I'll just take the LT01 PS that is PO schema. Just click enter. See one entry chosen here. Uh, what is this? I'll just uh, give the drop down and uh, it is asking when the message should send. Okay, like whatever the PO we will going to create. So once uh, the PO is created, when the message should send to the vendor, we can say send with the periodically scheduled job means it is telling about the bad jobs. Bad jobs means they might have, okay, uh, they might have assigned it like for every one hour the bad job should run means until one hour, whatever the POs are created, once the bad job is run, all the POs will move to the uh, different vendors. Like that also it will going to happen. So whether you want to do that or else send with a job with the additional time specifications, there also you can maintain certain time specifications. Send with the application own transaction or else send immediately is there. I'll just go with the send immediately and I'll just click enter save this data just go back okay once uh, just check your uh, lt01 ps we have created and we have assigned it also uh, now what we have to do is we have to go to the mn04 we will going to set up the output determination just go to slash n mn04 to set up the output determination and output determination for what we have to see which uh, condition type we have created uh, just now that is lneo this is the new output printout for LT01. Okay. So just select this and click enter here. Okay. What is our company code? LT01 is our company code. And here we have to maintain the function for which uh, uh, function we have to uh, send this uh, PO. Okay. I'll just maintain the vendor. Okay. I'll take it as a VN. VN is for vendor. VN is for vendor. And who is the partner? Okay. You just have to mention uh, for which partner you want to send the PO okay like that you can make it for all the partners or else you can make it as a default okay everything is possible I'll just mention 200075 is my partner to whom I'll be sending the PO like that and here it is asking for the medium a medium will going to maintain it as a print output and uh, date format okay when you want to send it I'll just I'll say send immediately and it is asking for the language and I'll going to maintain it as a English. Just maintain this, click enter, save this condition record saved, go back. So we have what we have done, we have set up the output determination. And now we'll go to the NACE, that is nothing but the condition record, where we'll going to see all the configured things. Okay, I'll just go to the NACE transaction code, just click enter. After that, you can see here purchase order that is EF. Just select this. Here you have all the different things. First thing we have maintained the access sequence. If you go here, whatever the access sequence we have maintained, it will going to appear. Mine is A718 access sequence for LT01. It is appearing here. Just go back. Now you can see the output type. Okay, different output types we have maintained for my condition type. Okay, so that is also you can able to see over here. Just go back. And you can see the procedure. We have created the LT0 on PS as a procedure. This is also available for us. And also you can see the condition record. Whatever the different condition records which are under our PO, no? for PO, whatever the output types we have created, no, everything it is available here. Because we have copied, so everything is appearing. But for us, this is the only thing, LNEU. Just say OK. And we have maintained everything. So now we'll just create one PO and we'll going to check whether it is working or not. In the PO where we can able to see this thing and all, we're going to see it now. ME21N, this is for creation of the PO. And for the vendor, which vendor I have considered? 200075 I have considered. I'll take this vendor, go to the org data and just select uh, your purchasing organization that is LT01 purchasing group. I'll going to mention as 000 and company code LT01 for this company code only our messages is going to work okay so we have means we have made it based upon the company code only field we have just checked the company code we can do it based upon the purchasing group purchasing org a plant everything it is possible but as of now we have maintained this one 
and the material i'll just take some material here and the po quantity i'll just maintain 10 net price 10 rupees lt0 is the plant and lt0 is the storage location here enter currency it is asking inr is the currency click enter see net price of the item from the condition that is fine click enter as we entered all these data we can see the messages here just go to the messages here we can give our output okay here it is taking a mneu this is for the MIPL and NEU but here also you can select your uh, LNEU uh, that is uh, available here just select this and click enter see uh, the output MNEU is a language EN partner function is deactivated that is fine just click enter you have given LNEU for your printout okay the print output so just give this data save this okay a standard purchase order it is created now if you want to take the printout of this what you have to do just i'll copy this purchase order and uh, now you go to other purchase order just give your copied purchase document here click enter and here you can see print preview you go to the print preview and select lneu here you have the option called print preview just click on this see like this for lneu will be getting the uh, print and here the company is maintained uh, based upon the company we are taking the printout of this particular document so this is how we'll going to maintain the output control or output determination for the purchase order like this you can maintain the output determination for the di different uh, external documents so this is it all about the output determination thank you guys thanks for watching my video please share these things if you have uh, liked the content and uh, please help me to grow my channel as well thank you thanks a lot